One, two, three. Bingo! Governor Cuomo cuts the ribbon on a new terminal, Terminal B at LaGuardia Airport, then takes a victory lap around the sparkling new facilities filled with soaring 55-foot-high ceilings. I love it. The ceilings make all the difference. Restaurants that will deliver food right to your gate, a children's playground with an interactive wall where kids and grown-ups like me can choose a plane and watch it take off, a toy store, a spa, even a makeup store. You have no shrinker? You don't need no shrinker. <laughs> It was a day for celebration for the 30 million passengers who used the airport and for Cuomo and Port Authority officials who are in the midst of an $8 billion transformation at LaGuardia, the first new airport built in the United States in 25 years. This for us is uh, a dream coming to life. So we're getting our mojo back. But even as officials celebrated at the airport, questions about the region's looming mass transit problems, bus and subway delays, street congestion hung in the air. Cuomo himself voiced it. If you can do this and you can build a new Tappan Zee Bridge and you can build a new Kosciuszko Bridge and you can build a new Gothos Bridge and you can double the size of the Javits Convention Center, why can't we do uh, the subway system? Cuomo says the answer is twofold, control and funding. He insisted somewhat disingenuously that he doesn't control the MTA board because the city and suburban county officials have appointees. And as for funding, he says he needs the legislature to approve congestion pricing. We need the funding to invest. If we have the funding and control, I will break my rear end to make it happen. That is my job. The new Terminal B opens for business on Saturday. At LaGuardia Airport, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Now, the entire LaGuardia renovation project is set for completion in 2022. It will include two new terminals, 72 new gates, and 14 miles of new roadways.